Well, hi there. I'm Sandy Alnock, artist and paper crafter here on YouTube, and I almost made it in time for Christmas in July, but I didn't quite. I almost got this card done and edited and posted while it was still July, but I failed. I'm so bummed. I really wanted to get a second Christmas card made this month, but you know, stuff always happens. But I picked out some Copic colors to use with this beautiful, beautiful stamp set from the Colorado Craft Company. And it's got just little feetsies of baby Jesus and these little lambs looking up at him. And it was just such a pretty little stamp that I knew I was going to color a lot of them for this Christmas. So. I'm going to get started with one and then I have a bunch that I've got stamped that are in my Copic case so when I sit on the sofa and want to just sit and color and enjoy myself now I have a whole bunch that I can color. And I've got all my colors and my scenes worked out so it's kind of mindless as well. This is a really simple scene. I decided I wanted a window facing outward to look at the star because there's a star in the stamp set. And I started with an E77. I went to an E79 because I wanted something darker. To create the, the glow around the star that I'm going to stamp out there, I put just some B12 in there just so I could have some light color to remind me not to color all the way to there because I wanted to have just a little bit of glow. And it doesn't need to be a ton, but I often forget that. As I'm just coloring away and coloring away and coloring away, it helps to just kind of mark it a little bit. And the barn wall is just surrounding all of that. The barn wall is kind of a nondescript thing, but it gives you a real sense of the baby being in, in the barn. And I know that they didn't have barns with, you know, the, the kinds of traditional barn things we think of, you know, so this is not actually what where Jesus would have been. I think it was a little more like a cave than a barn. But, you know, it's what we think of for Christmas, having some kind of a barn scene. So there you go. And I decided to put some texture into the wall of the barn and just make it look like barn slats. So I'm drawing the heavy lines in between each of the slats. And then I'll use a dark brown to make the texture that goes inside. Now, if you don't have a, a real, you know, soft texture appearing. If your lines are too fussy, then just go over it one more time just with really simple strokes with another brown color and that will just kind of pull it all together. But mine looks okay because I had all those dark colors that were already underneath of it. The E17 was the color I used just around the edge of the window and I have that white streak that that's just the, the light that's shining on the, the window itself. But I wanted some of that color reflected down in the scene in the bottom. I am going to trim out around that bottom edge so I'm not worried about the little lambs not having their, their butts in the stamp. So they're just going to be cut off a little bit down there. But I'll just color all the way to the edge to make sure that I have color everywhere. I didn't like having quite as much of that gold color so I went over it with one of the duller uh, brown colors so that just kind of knocked the, the hay back so it's not as prominent. I wanted the, the filtering of the light down on top of those little feet and on top of the lambs to be the thing that catches your attention in the scene. And since this is really dark at night the lambs are going to be really dark. I know it's like hard to think of using a number five gray to color white lambs, but it works. And as the, the whole thing finishes, you're going to see the things that, that twinkle and sparkle in the light are the things that are nice and white. And having the rest of it be nice and dark is what's going to add that contrast. So I put some of that hay color in, color the, just a little bit on the baby's feet and then started working on darkening a few things up because even that gray that I already had in there was not dark enough given all the other colors I already had in there. So I'm going to add some in seven. Yes, I'm going all the way for a seven on lambs. 
I know that's kind of crazy. And then I'm going to throw it in a little bit extra on the bottom of the, the manger as well. And add some darker color there in some of the hay that's in the baby's little, uh, little bed there. And now my sky is dry. Sometimes with something where you're flooding a lot of color, you get weird streaks and things. And what I did was wait until it dried. So now I can go over with as simple strokes as I can. I'm trying to do all vertical strokes so I get some unity across it. In the video footage, it films things a little bit differently so it looks a lot better in real life than it does right here. It looks a little bit more blended than this. Uh, it's just kind of how the camera shows things, but you'll see that at the end when you see the finished card. But I decided to go back in then with a little bit of my B06 as well. Now in the Mini Misty, I've got it all set up so I can now do my stamping. I wanted to do two different colors of embossing. So I want white embossing on the star. There's two size stars. This is the smaller one. And I picked the smaller one because I want a gold sentiment on there right below the star. So I put it in there just so I can make sure that I have space for it. Pick that up in Mini Misty. If you haven't seen a Misty, then you're missing out because this thing makes me a better stamper. And I put a little powder on there so that the powder is going to help the embossing powder not to stick in places where it's not supposed to stick. And then using some Versamark clear ink and that is going to stick to the embossing powder. And so this is Hero Arts white embossing powder. Let the gun heat up a few seconds before applying it to the paper and I get a little less warping that way. And then watch it melt so beautifully. Once that cooled down, I could do the same thing to stamp the sentiment in there in the, the very same way. And I'm going to use some WOW embossing powder, and this is the rich gold color, which I really love. Tap that off onto a piece of scratch paper so I can dump that back into the container and reuse it. I sometimes use coffee filters like the rest of the universe, but sometimes it's faster to just grab a piece of scrap paper that's on my desk somewhere and use that quickly. And I just love watching embossing powder melt. So gorgeous. I layered my image now, since it's all trimmed out, I layered it onto a couple layers of cardstock and added a few details with a white pen. So I added some stars up in the sky, and if you weren't able to leave a white edge around the window, you could add some of that white at this point. And I'm also adding a few strands of little white grasses um, on the baby's manger. The inside, I decided to add, since I had black cardstock, I had to add a layer of paper inside anyway so I could write a note, and I'm I'm adding all of the sentiment and the big star using the same gold embossing powder so it shows up both on color and on white. So gorgeous. Such a rich, beautiful card. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click that like button, share with your friends, and I will see you again very, very soon. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Take care. Bye.